What is really good, YouTube? It's your boy Shaka252 back. Look, I'm checking in again. So I get a call from the dealership. Hey, your car is ready. Go to pick up the car. Car, well, let me start over. The car doesn't come around. The representative comes back and says, hey, I got bad news. Um, your car, your battery's dead again. Mind you, they just put a new battery in it. So, and I was told that the compressors are running. So my air ride was killing my battery. Hey, look, I'm gonna charge it up. I'll call you in about an hour. About five hours later, I get a call saying, hey, car is ready. Car comes around, gets out. You know, I got vertical doors. If you have vertical doors or know about vertical doors, they only go about at a, when you open the door, it goes about to a, to a uh, 45 degree angle. It hits resistance, then it goes straight up. So if you're a flipping idiot, you know I want to say more, but I'm doing a YouTube video. So if you're a, a person that's not smart and you grab my door and you yank on it like it's a regular flipping door, you're going to bend something. You're going to break something. You're going to tear something up. So let me get to it. So when I hop, when I hop in the car, my kill switch was on. Hey yo, what the fuck? Which which uh is connected to my lights. So in order when I want to turn my lights on, I activate the kill switch. I got another box that has about six slots. Each slot is dedicated to a specific light. DRLs, halos, underbody, interior, trunk, you know that that whole spill. When I got in the car, my kill switch was on and every single button, all six buttons were pushed on. So my lights were on. That's why my battery was dead. Holy Jesus. What is that? Some idiot that works in that service apartment got in my car and was messing around, looking around, turned my freaking kill switch on so it killed a new battery. Oh, I get home and I I pull the handle to get out the car. The car the car door opens about that much. I can't even get out. In order for me to get out of Megatron, I had to climb over to the passenger seat, open that door and get out. Walk around to this door to the driver's side door. The people in that service department yanked on my door so bad they treated it like a they didn't treat it like a prom date at all my fender is here i'm gonna do it so i can face the camera my fender is here my door is here i can throw a football through the freaking gap that it left and not only that every time they kept doing it they they kept smacking my rap that kept damaging my wrap. Along the fender line, I'll post a picture somewhere on the corner so you guys can see, but you can't really see the damage to the to the corner of the wrap. The wrap folds around the edge of the fender. They tore it up. It looked like they took a grinder and went all the way down the edge of it. I work third shift, so by this time, this is like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So, you know, I work from seven to seven, so I'm hot. It's 90, it was 96 degrees outside. I was so mad, I hit up the general manager. I was like, dude, y'all effed up my car. Y'all freaking effed up my car. Like, it, I, that's all I could say was you effed up my car. And then it turned into, well, yeah, when I got in it, it was kind of acting that way. Uh, baby the doors, okay? You know what I'm saying? I baby the doors, I treat it. I treat it like a prom date. I'm not rough on my doors at all. So, conclusion is, I drop it off at another shop, and once I get that bill, I'm taking whatever I have to pay to fix the damages, whatever, I'm taking it to the general manager at Dodge, and they gotta, they gotta compensate me. I don't even know what I'm gonna do about the wrap. In order to fix that, I basically have to re-get that whole 
Fender rewrap. I think the worst part is knowing that somebody that works in that service department had the balls and the audacity to get in my whip and start turning stuff on and didn't go backwards and undo what they just did. That means they were looking around, snooping around. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, and I hope, I hope the person that did that watches my video. You're never going to let me know who you are, but hopefully I'm praying that you watch my videos. You are a flipping idiot. I called you an idiot earlier. I'll screw it. You a dumbass. Like right off the bat, like there's no other explanation for it. All you guys out there, I don't care what you drive. If you take your car to get any service on it, which you should be doing, invest in a dash cam. I thought I was doing good by investing in a dash cam, but you need to invest into, I should have invested it into a, a dash cam like the Uber drivers and Lyft drivers. One that faces back, forward and inside the cabin that's what i needed and that's what i'm in the process of ordering right now because that was a, a life lesson learned you know you live and learn i'm still i'm grown as i'm grown as hell but i'm st i still learn every day and this is just something this is a new thing i have to learn which is get you a dash cam that faces inside the vehicle versus just worrying about i was so concerned about what was in front but you got to get a camera on the inside also that's all i got i appreciate you for rocking with your boy unfortunately i'm going through these events they don't get me down i'm more or less disappointed than anything so i'm not down i i'm down about it because i'm i'm getting hit with stuff back to back i'm gonna have to kick out money that i don't have so with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one all right peace Since we bumped it on the bombs